Hey guys, how's it going? It's Justine, and today we are unboxing something super, super, super exciting. Most of you guys know my friend Ro from Nerdy Nummies. She does an incredible baking show. We've done so many collabs here on my channel and on her channel, and she has come out with a baking line. So without further ado, let's open. Oh my! There's, oh goodness, there's so many goodies in here. Maybe I'll put this on. I am literally up against the wall right now and I don't have any room to work and I stick this. Okay, I'll just put it off to the side and I'll just get items. Oh, I've got a little note! This is so cute. The first item out of the box is a poo mold. Will you feast your little emoji eyes on this? I've made a lot of poo themed things on my channel before, but this is amazing. I've never made a 3D poo mold. You can make some brownies, like some poo ice cubes, some poo candy. This is probably one of my favorite things so far. I didn't even know this was a thing until I had met Ro. I forget what we were making. I think we were making Lego minifigure heads. We had one of these and she said it was her favorite thing. Now she has a Ro version of a candy melting pot. And it's so cute it's a pretty teal color. Oh, I'm in love. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so ecstatic right now. So what's cool about these is it will allow you to melt your candy melts or your chocolate or whatever it is that you're melting. And then once it's melted, you can just switch it to stay warm. So you can just kind of like set it aside and it won't harden up. Once you're done, you can let your chocolate harden in here and then you just flip this the opposite way and just punch the chocolate out and you can reuse it. Mm. I dig through all the pink confetti. I've got the items. Look at this, a cute little half apron. This is so cute. You better believe I'm gonna be booty shaking this all around my kitchen. It's even got some oven mitts to match. Oh my gosh. These are so cute and look at the cute little tags. Like everything is so cute. Look at these little teeny tiny candies. Here's the little stars and the little lightning bolt. These are little eight bit hearts and measuring cups. These are super nice quality. This is nicer than anything that I have in my kitchen right now. And they're colorful too. Look at them. It's got a cute little grip right here with her little logo on it. And we've even got little measuring spoons to match. I love that they have like this little ring because I feel like every time I go to try to find a measuring spoon, they're everywhere. Look at these little cookie molds. The little cookie cutters, we've got a little pie and a little 8-bit heart. Definitely want to make a little 8-bit hearts. This will be really cool because I really want to start my Minecraft server up again and this is going to be absolutely perfect for that. Let's open these up. Come out. This is so nice. It's like actually a nice quality feel because there's some little candy molds that are so flimsy that if you put anything in it and you try to pick it up, it just like folds over. These are really nice. I can also use this to make a Minecraft themed something, some diamonds. Oh my gosh. I think these might be some of my favorite things. These are little cake testers. So if you've ever made a cake before, the best way to find out if the cake is done is you shove like something in the middle of it and if you pull whatever it is out, and there's like cake on it, then it's not done yet. We've got a little 8-bit heart and the cute little smart cookie. Yeah, I'll open them up. I feel bad opening and like ruining her beautiful packaging. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. <gasps> I'm gonna be testing cakes all day long. Thank you so much for watching and a huge thank you to Ro for sending me a few of the items from her baking line. I'm so excited. I'm so proud of her. Make sure you guys go check out her channel. I will also put a link in the description where you can check out all of her baking items. I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know what you guys think I should make first. I am thinking I should probably make something from the poo mold because this is incredible. I'll see you guys later. Bye. It's like no way to the answer Oh, you're sorry but you never can tell